Hey there, this is Pastor Andy. I have a couple of updates for you. It's May 1st, 2020. Last night, the session met, and we have some plans for our reopening. Um, the first thing that I want to say is that we plan to have services begin on May 17th. That may or may not be an, a reality. We're holding that date with an open hand. Uh, also, I wanted to let you know that uh, we will be having, we plan to have at least two services uh, each Sunday. Uh, the tentative times that we have set are the first service would be from 9 to 10 and the second service from 11 to noon. And that would give us time to sanitize the bathrooms and the sanctuary in between services. We do plan to operate at a 50% capacity at this point unless we receive other guidance from Governor Lee and the Sullivan County Health Department. Um, <clears throat> because of that, you're going to be asked to commit to a particular time of the service. And uh, we'll have a couple of different ways to, to get that feedback. Uh, I'll mention in a moment that we'll have a survey going out. Um, we do recommend that those who are in the higher risk categories would attend the earlier service because there's less possibility of contamination. The church will have been cleaned thoroughly at that point. Uh, less people would have been in the building and that sort of thing. Um, also, as far as the services are concerned, we're going to do our best to keep those services to one hour, which means that we will have a more condensed service, less singing, um, probably not as many elements as we normally would have. Um, we will also provide worship services and sermons online. Uh, the worship services, uh, that will be a, a shorter term uh, kind of thing. When we get more of an all clear, then we may still provide sermons online for those who are at higher risk um, through video. We, we always provide the sermon after the fact by audio. That was our normal practice before. One item that you do need to be aware of, we are going to require that everyone wears a mask. We know that that is a, a sort of controversial issue these days, but the reason that we are requiring it is because we are seeking to love our neighbors. You know, my thinking is this, it sure is, uh, this is a temporary season and it's worth being uncomfortable if you're uncomfortable wearing a mask for a season in order to protect our neighbor and love our neighbors. So uh, that's why we're doing that. Um, also, we're going to make sure that all the elements of the worship service are projected on the screen so that there will be no need for bulletins if you would rather not have someone hand you a bulletin. Tithes and offerings can still be mailed into the P.O. box but we will also have boxes at each one of the entrances, um, at least in the sanctuary, uh, so that you can place your tithes and offerings there. We will not pass collection plates, and for the time being, we will not have the Lord's Supper uh, just because of the possibility of contamination. Uh, in the next few days, we will be sending a survey link out, probably through SurveyMonkey. Uh, we'll send an email out. And we will be asking various questions such as um, if you plan to go ahead and remain at home for a while um, because of you're in a higher risk, or um, we'll ask questions such as which service would you prefer to be a part of? And if you don't have a preference, we want you to note that because we will then ask you after we get the numbers in and kind of figure out how many people we have, um, we, uh, we will then ask you to commit to a particular service if you have no preference. I hope you have a great day. If you have any questions, please contact any of us uh, on the session, Ben Lawson, Mike Leonard, Kevin Erickson, or myself. Blessings to you.